change will be names of the computers, for example, here. We can create an allow list for reducing alert fatigue, for example, using a watch list to build an allow list to suppress alerts from only a limited set of IP addresses, to do some specific functions, and removing banning events from becoming alerts. We can use watch list to enrich our event data also. How we can create it by using a quick guided demonstration, guys. So let me see if into this uh, Sentinel service and accessing to the watch list down to the data connectors and analytics, I can see an existing watch list. No, not into this Sentinel. But here I can see an option to add a new one. I can see the assistant with three high level steps or stages on the general with a name, the description, which is optional, and watch list alias, a source the source of the data type, CSV file, it's only supported with the header, comma separated value, number of lines before row with headings on it to specify here, and then the prompt for browsing locally for our file, I can look for my CSV file to upload it. The search key fields, then click on review and create on it. If everything is set, if I'm not missing something and so on, we can click on create at the end. And then we will see a new watch list of my uh, workspace associated on. If I would like to see it into the query editor, then I can select the, query, the watch list name and I will see a sub menu on the right, like with the connectors on it. And I can see uh, some details and description, my basics, for example, from the watch list. And I can scroll down until I can see, oh, would you like to view? your watch list from the editor, you can just click on it to open it and you will be directed to the KQL engine, to the query engine basically for displaying and actually you will run the query with the operator of underscore get the watch list and from that name with the corresponding syntax on it to display the content of that uh, watch list basically on it. Give me a second because I'm pretty sure that I already have a watch list into one of these uh, two Sentinel services. Maybe in this one. Yeah, I have the high value host like the example, which is representing from this external source, a CSV file that I just decide to import or to upload on. Now I can highlight it, select it, for example, and I can click on, well, I can delete it or edit the watch list items, modify the column view, and then I can see some information like, the number of rows included, five rows, because I have information about five host computer names, for example. Created by and created when, like a couple of uh, weeks ago. Search key field host name, for example. I can click here to view in log analytics, and I, I can be redirected to the log editor option and I can see the content of the file. That is basically this name and value pair with the host one, for example, and automatically I can see a last update time and a time ID or an, uh, an ID for every item that is included into the CSV file. So this is the syntax and this is my output. I can play with the editor output for looking for a different result, for example, into different, and if I would like to display or not a specific columns, just by displaying the host name and maybe the search key only. That I can export this information if I would like to or saving this output on or put it there into a workbook if I need it. Lesson number five, guys, which is the last one 